Hey guys, welcome to another McLaren Brothers unboxing video. This is the May 2015 Horror Block unboxing. Uh, so the first thing that I see right on top is a pop toy for Hannibal Lecter for the TV show Hannibal. I've never seen the show, but I want to see the show. I've heard nothing but good things about it. I know. Go ahead and yell at me in the comments. Um, I do collect pop toys. I probably won't get into this series just because I'm kind of slowing down on the big pops and moving into the mystery minis. That way I can save space in my house. But this one's cool. I'll keep it for sure and put it on my shelf with my other horror characters. Let's see. The next thing we have is the shirt. I don't like this shirt because I'm really pissed off that the game was canceled. So I'm just mad right now that Konami couldn't suck it up and give Kojima everything he wanted so this game could have been made. But I do like this game a lot. Uh, this is a pretty cool shirt. I love Pyramid Head. He's pretty awesome. Um, if you've ever been to Halloween Horror Nights, they had Pyramid Head there once. And seeing him get in game is kind of freaky, but whenever you actually see like a huge man dressed as Pyramid Head chasing you around the park, it puts an entirely new meaning on like how to be afraid of him. So that was actually pretty cool. So, so far that's two for two on things that I like out of this box. And then we have Horror Block Presents, the short film festival that also has a terribly bitter spot in my heart because my short film didn't win, and ones that did win, I didn't think were that great. I watched most of these. I won't comment on which one or two that I didn't like or uh, anything like that just because it's not really fair or cool as a filmmaker to call out other filmmakers whenever it takes a lot of time and work to actually get a film made. So I'll just say congratulations to all the winners. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, I'm glad that some of these guys got to have their stuff in print. I'll definitely check it out on DVD and see if there's any kind of special features. It doesn't say there are any on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that there's not any special features. If there are, that'll probably be something I'm more interested in watching than some of the shorts that are on here. So the next thing in the box will excite my wonderful assistant on camera. Oh shit. You're not allowed to talk in the video. Not since the beginning of time has the world beheld terror like this. I'm annoyed that it says Made in Canada on it. Um, that feels like something they could have printed on the back to save my picture from having some stupid copyright or whatever on it. I don't know who did the art or anything like that. It seems like there's much more important stuff that I could have learned about this picture than just Made in Canada. But either way, it's a pretty neat little little photo. The next thing in the box is the Rue Morgue Library, Rue Morgue Magazine's Weird Stats and Morbid Facts. I'm assuming that it's just that. Let me, let me find a random page and tell you one morbid fact. It says, Magician Harry Houdini died on Halloween in 1926 of a gangrenous appendix, a condition he developed after being sucker punched several days earlier in Montreal, Canada. See, so the Canadians ruined my picture of the creature from the Black Lagoon and they killed Houdini. Way to go, Canada. I'm just kidding, I love Canada. But yeah, this is a pretty cool book. I definitely read it and then probably get rid of it because it's just little factoids that are probably already on Google. But it's something I'll definitely read through because it seems like it's pretty easy to get through. And let's see. Last, we have Rue Morgue Magazine with the awful movie Human Centipede on the front. And I don't say awful because the series is bad because Human Centipede 2 was an excellent film. I say awful because Human Centipede 3 was an awful film. And eventually you'll be able to hear my podcast opinions and discussion on this film once those go up. But I'll just leave you with the fact that I love the magazine but hate this film. So usually what I do during this little section is I tell you what my favorite and least favorite things in the box are. But I don't really have a least favorite thing in the box. I mean if I were absolutely pressed to say what my least favorite thing is... It would probably be the Weird Stats book, but I don't even dislike that. This is an actually, like, really solid box. I'm subscribed to a couple boxes. I think I'm up to five now. And all, most of them have things that I really don't like in them and things that I really do like in them. But this box is completely solid. There's nothing in here that I'm annoyed to get or nothing in here that I want to give away. Good job this month, Horror Block. You definitely made me happy with this block. If you don't have horror block, you should probably sign up and hope that you get another block this solid. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, give us a comment or subscribe or both. We'll be posting up more unboxing videos soon as well as more video game videos. Thanks for watching.